In this video, we're going to show you how a function operates, a custom function. In this case, it's a void function called pause diff. Notice we've used the def keyword to define the function. And we're giving it two parameters, A and B, to work with. This function is supposed to find the positive difference of these two uh, values. Well, in order to do that, well, obviously we have to determine which one is larger and subtract the smaller one from that. We're going to do that with some if statements. If a is greater than b, well then the difference, positive difference would be a minus b. Else if, which elif is short for else if. Else if b is greater than a, then the positive difference would be b minus a. And of course the other possibility is that the two values are equal, and so we'll print that out, and that's where the else block kicks in. So there's the code for that de definition of this function definition. Now this is a void function. It's not returning a value, it's just printing something out. Now, in order to make that run, we have to run it from another function, typically from main. Take a look at main up here. We're declaring two integers, n1 and n2, with values of 25 and 11. And then we're going to use those as arguments for the positive function. When we pass values to a function, we say that those values are the arguments. When we define a function, like we did down here, these values are the parameters. Now, as it happens, n1 becomes known as a inside the positive function, n2 will become known as b inside the positive function. And that's only because of the order. The order here is important. Okay, now when we run this, I've got a couple breakpoints set. Uh, what you want you to notice is when I run this, we'll see the locals down here in the debug window. We'll only show the values of the variables that are local to the function that is currently running. So values that are local to main are n1 and n2. That means they're only visible or in scope in the main function. a and b, however, are parameters, are going to be visible or in scope inside the positive function. So watch what happens as we run this in the debugger. Here we go. All right, now I'm going to hit step to step into the positive function. Actually, it's just reading the functions at this point. Now we're going to run the main function. All right, here we are. Notice that down here, n1 is now known to have a value of 25 in the debugger. I'll hit step to go through the next line. And now n2 is also visible with values of 25 and 11. Now we're about to run the, or execute, or call the positive function right here. So I'm going to hit uh, step to run that. And as soon as I do, you'll notice that n1 and n2 are no longer visible. They're not local to positive. They're local in main. So they're not visible here in the debugger window. However, a and b are visible with values of 25 and 11, verifying that n1 was uh, uh, assigned to a and n2 was assigned to b. Now to finish this off, I'll just hit uh, step out and it'll finish the program and we got a value of 14 which of course is correct for the difference positive difference of 25 and 11 hope that helps you understand